In this video, we are going to learn how a bot can be configured in such a way so that when you do a broadcast with a template and you add a stop or an unsubscribe button, the bot will automatically send a sorry message to your customer when a customer clicks on the unsubscribe button on your template. And the bot will also automatically opt the customer out to ensure they don't receive any future messages. So let's quickly head over to the bot studio and click on the new bot and click on the create new bot button to create this particular bot. We go ahead with renaming the bot. Here, we need to understand that the bot will get triggered when a customer clicks on the unsubscribe button. Now, one way of doing it is using the trigger, which is on message and saying that the trigger point will be the message received from the customer as unsubscribe. Now we are going to see a complicated way of doing this. So we are going to go ahead and remove this trigger for now. Here we want the trigger to be a template that we are sending to our customers with the unsubscribe button. So we are going to use the trigger on template delivered. Once we select this trigger, we can select in between the different templates, which is under our approved category. As, and as you can see in this particular preview, that this particular template has the unsubscribe button. We select this template. So whenever a user clicks on unsubscribe, the action the bot needs to take is to send them a sorry message. So how would the bot send a sorry message? If we use the action send message. Now on unsubscribe, we are going to link it and say we are really We are really sorry to bother you. We have unsubscribed you from any future communication. In case you want us to communicate, you can reply on this chat and we are here to respond back to you. Great. That means whenever a customer clicks on unsubscribe button, this message would automatically go to the customer. Right. And the next component we are going to use is opt out, which also comes under our action section. If you link it to opt out unconditionally, the bot would automatically opt out this customer. Now, what does opt out do? Opt out ensures that this particular customer, whenever they say unsubscribe, they first of all are being removed from any sort of template message communications in future. So even if this particular customer who have clicked on unsubscribe is part of a broadcast channel in future, this bot would prevent or the opt out would prevent this customer from being bothered through your future template messages. Now let's test it out. So let's say we save this bot. We head over to our double tick section and we send this particular template to a customer individually or maybe via a broadcast that we have done. So here you can see at this moment by clicking on this drop down and message info that this message has been delivered to the customer with the buttons. Also, it is important to note that the current status of the customer is opt in tick mark. That means the current customer status is 
that the customer is opted in. Now let's see what happens the moment the customer reads this message that they have received from the API number and the moment the customer clicks on unsubscribe, the bot gets triggered with the message, we are really sorry to bother you. We have unsubscribed you from any future communications as we had planned. And also, if we reload in double tick, we are going to see that the customer has been automatically opted out by the bot. So you can see now the opt-in status is blank. That means even if in future you try sending a different template to the customer, that message would automatically fail and the customer would not receive your template message. However, if in future at a later point, the customer calls you and says that I want to be opted in back. You have the option to come to the chat and click on the tick icon over here and opt the customer back in and start sending them messages. At the same time, if the customer voluntarily wants to receive any further information and proactively asks you over the WhatsApp API number, hey, I need some help. For example, this is what the customer types. Now you can see in double tick, the message comes in and the same time if you reload the page, you will see that the customer has been automatically opted back in because he had messaged on the API number. Now this is how consent on WhatsApp API works, opt-in on WhatsApp API works. And the same can also be viewed if you head over to your customer section. If you click on this icon, you can select on opt out and you can see all those customers of yours who has chosen to either opt in or opt out from communications with you. Now the opt out also works when you have in the bot studio, a stop bot enabled. Now the stop bot only works when the customer types in or presses on a stop button on a template. You do have the option to change the message. The stop bot is a readily available bot which absolutely works similar to what we just did in this entire exercise. You just need to switch it on and you have the option to change the message as well. Now, why did we create a bot wherein we already had a stop bot? That is because a lot of times you don't want to give the button stop and instead of stop, you want to give the button as unsubscribe or stop further communication or a different message and at times your customer might not understand the significance of the button stop stop given in a template so for your hindi templates when you use a hindi button that is also where a custom stop bot the bot we just created becomes really handy and then from the template we can link and opt out the customers as we are just seen in this video I hope this helps you in getting prevented from spamming by your customers. And at the same time, you can curate the messaging that you want when your customers unsubscribes or opts out. Stay tuned for the remaining videos in this particular series. Thank you.